If you're new to my channel then welcome my name is Kira and I'm currently 36 weeks pregnant and 16 years old um so this video is going to be me showing you what I'm packing in my hospital bag because obviously I'm 36 weeks pregnant now so um things could get moving anytime from now basically so I've done a list and I've ticked off all the things that I've got and I'm just going to be quickly showing you what I've got packed um and just go from there really so um i'm just gonna be quick because i filmed this twice and it's been like over 20 minutes and it's like i'm literally just showing you some things that i've packed like why is it that long so what i'm gonna say is my midwife has told me to overpack kind of thing because um she doesn't know how long my hospital will want to keep me in for because of my age um because they might want to keep me in for longer just to make sure that i know what i'm doing and everything because i also want to try and breastfeed so they might want to give me some tips and just all of that malarkey so she's told me to pack like as if i'm staying a couple of nights rather than just one night or something so um yeah i'm gonna get into it so the first thing i'm gonna say is that i am taking like a mini suitcase kind of thing just because we don't have anything else that i can really put my stuff in so this is what i'm bringing so it looks massive but i am tiny like i promise so this is what i'm bringing like it's not actually very big at all but we're gonna roll with it anyway so that's what i've got so i'm just gonna kind of like be chucking it in as i go along so i'm gonna start with toiletries of what i'm packing so um i've just got this little rose gold makeup bag which i'm just gonna chuck everything in kind of thing so the first thing that i've been told to bring by literally everybody is lip balm because if you haven't seen my birthing plan video um i want to do a water birth and on gas and air and gas and air makes your lips very dry and i do not get on with dry lips at all so i've just got a carmex and a nivea lip balm because these are my favorite kind of for dry chapped lips um I then have a hair, a min, like a mini hairbrush because I don't want to take up much room. Um, and it's just a job, it's a little hairbrush. <laughs> and my hair's probably going to be up anyways for most of the time. And it's just got some hair bubbles on in case I forget to bring some. So I've got that. <laughs> I then have a Tresemme shampoo and then this Argan Oil of Morocco conditioner. If that's the brand, I don't actually know if that's the brand. Um, so I've got shampoo and conditioner just because... Obviously, after giving birth, I'm going to want to have a shower or something to cleanse myself, I guess, because obviously it's not going to be very pretty and it's not going to be very clean. So I've got them. <laughs> then I have a shower, a bath, a shower gel, body wash kind of thing. This is just the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush body wash, body wash. And this is my favourite scent, like ever. Um, yeah, this is my favourite scent, like ever. Um apart from Lush, but I'm not going to bring a Lush shower gel to the hospital, so I'm bringing this, and this is just the mini, and yeah, so again, just to get clean, um, I'm then also bringing a toothbrush and toothpaste, but obviously I'm using them a daily basis until I go to the hospital, so that will be put in when I get there, kind of thing, then I've just got a pack of makeup wipes, because I am bringing makeup, which I'll just tell you what I'm bringing in a minute, um so when i want to take it off i've got something to take it off with <laughs> sorry i'm looking at my list that i wrote just so like I don't, if i miss anything out that i haven't got i still say that I've, that i'm going to pack it then i've got a mini nivea deodorant because i don't really want to smell <laughs> kind of common sense there um, and then I just have a mini impulse body spray because, again, I don't want to smell, but I'm not going to bring, like, some big body spray or anything. Um, I then have my stretch mark cream because I have been told that you are prone to get stretch marks after giving birth as well when your body is going back to normal. Just because that's sometimes when they show up or something. I don't know. And I haven't got any so far, so I just want to try and prevent that as much as possible. But, so, I'm bringing my... Co my palmer's cocoa butter formula with vitamin e massage cream for stretch marks cream <laughs> just to put on whenever 
Um, I'm then bringing a hand sanitizer just because germs, I guess. I don't really know. <laughs> and then I'm also bringing a Soap and Glory hand food hand cream, but I'm going to use this just as a body lotion if I want to. I don't really know whether I'm going to use it or not, but it was the smallest one I have, so just pick that up. And the last thing I have in this bag is a sheet mask because I want to be as relaxed as possible when I'm labouring. So face masks really help me. So bring in a now and zen face mask. It is a sheet mask. Well, that doesn't really say it's a sheet mask. Oh, it says unfold the mask. Okay. One sheet mask. It is a sheet mask. So I've got that. So that's everything I've got in my like toiletry bag. It, will, it just fit all in there, but I've just chucked it in there. So that's going in there. And then I've just got this little bag, which is my makeup bag. Um, and I'm literally bringing three makeup brushes <laughs> and a sponge because I don't want to bring another makeup brush because this, is this bag is tiny. Um, and then I've just got a concealer to use. I've got a powder. I've got bronzer, a highlighter, and then a brow, like, gel kind of thing. That is all the makeup brand I'm bringing. The reason why I'm bringing makeup is because I do want to just have that kind of extra boost of me. Because obviously when you're giving birth, like, after you've given birth, I want to feel like me. And if I just do something that I enjoy, I feel like... I don't really know what I feel like, but I feel like it'd be a good idea. And I do want to obviously film my labour and maybe birth, I don't really know what's going to happen, um, but I want to look presentable, I guess, but to be honest I don't really care, as long as he's here, then that's all that matters. Um, now my hospital does provide maternity towels and stuff, but um, we've just got just on the safe side kind of thing, just for precaution, or even just to use here, just a pack of ten maternity pads now these are massive like massive like i just don't even think they're gonna fit like because i'm tiny so but hey ho we've got them um, and then i've also got breast pads because obviously i want to breastfeed so um my boobs will leak hopefully I don't know how, I don't know, obviously, every person is different, and well, I don't know if I'll be able to breastfeed or not, so I don't know what's going to go down that route, but we've got them just in case. I don't know how, how many I'm bringing of them, because I don't know if my hospital provides them or not, um, but I'm going to have to ask my midwife how many to bring, just so I know. Now, we're slipping away from toiletries, um, I have slippers, so... I have two pairs, so I've got my reindeer pair, which are ones that I'm currently using now. They're Christmassy, yes I know, I don't really care. <laughs> but um, I'm going to wear these while I'm labouring, because obviously your body can still let out fluid while you're labouring. Or like, if my waters haven't broke previously, then they could break, and I don't want to buy new slippers and then get them dirty, just chuck them in the bin. So we're going to basically trash these if I have to kind of thing and not mind and then as soon as I've given birth these are going in the bin and I'm a mum bless her heart bought me some new pair bought me a new pair of slippers um I don't actually watch the game of thrones but I don't actually watch the game of thrones but hey ho they're burgundy and I love the colour burg I love the I love this colour so yeah and they're fluffy yeah so my mum got me these um to walk around the ward in and stuff like that so I've got them. Now I've also got two pairs of ankle socks. One to come home in and then one to like, I don't really know, just the one spare. And then I've also got two pairs of fluffy socks which I'm bringing in, which will just be used to wear any other time. I don't really know. Yeah. <laughs> And then I've just got three pairs of cotton underwear, which are on the larger side because I had to buy these because I didn't really own any 
other pants other than smaller underwear <laughs> so i've had to buy these um and i've just got the three darkest colors because um obviously i'm not gonna wear white while i'm bleeding because mm -mm. so i've just got these because again i don't know how long i'm gonna be in there so i've just got three but the good thing is if i need anything else my mum is coming home because obviously she can't stay at the hospital with me so she's coming home every night that i'm there for and then coming back in the morning so if I need anything else, she will pick up something or she will bring it from home to me. So this is just like a basic kind of thing. So I don't want to overpack. Um, I've then got a coming home outfit, which literally consists of basic black leggings from Primark. <laughs> Nothing special there. And then just a large grey plain top. It's not plain. What am I about? A large plain, a large top. Not large, but like, it's like a long top. And it's just got Harry Potter writing on because I've never actually worn this top in my life. And it's just been sitting in my dresser drawers for a while. So I just thought, why not just you make use of it? So I just said, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Did not know it was that see through. Oops. <laughs> now I need to get some nursing bras because I don't have any currently because I've literally been living in sports bras the past couple of weeks so i need to get some nursing bras sorry about that um i then have a nighty because as i said i want to labor moving around so i've got a nighty and it's absolutely massive but it's a stitch one and it looks so adorable and it looks so comfy and it's new but obviously i'm laboring in it so it's probably going to be trash by the time I'm done which I'm kind of half sad about because it's stitch and I love it but I don't wear nighties anyways so I wouldn't wear it anyways but I've got this to labour in because it's easy access for the nurses and midwives to check up everything so yeah got that and then the last few things are that I'm planning a water birth if you haven't seen my birth plan so um I'm taking a bikini top if you will come round just a plain black bikini top well I say plain but it's kind of got this an off the shoulder bikini top because this is the only one I've got that's black and I don't want to ruin any other ones but then I'm wearing this while I'm giving birth because I just kind of want that extra sense of like closure right like not being so exposed and then I've got towel because and again this is light because as soon as I use it, it will be going in the bin and I'm getting new towels. So, again, it's just something to get trashed in kind of thing. And the last things are two pairs of joggers to walk around in on the ward or anything. Because um, comfort is key. I don't really care what I look like, how I look like. Like, I've just given birth. Like, I do not care what I'm wearing. And then um, this Lion King top to wear with one of the joggers which just says remember who you are and I absolutely love the Lion King so my mum got this and it's again it's from Primark and it was on it was reduced from six pounds down to three so my mum got this she got it in size small just so it's extra baggy so it's like extra baggy for after I've given birth ignore how I look I know I look bad but again I'm editing this video and I just wanted to say that when I say like um is in small so it's extra really baggy and everything like when I say I'm small I literally mean like I fit into when I wasn't pregnant and like still kind of now I like my leggings are still 2xs which is obviously like extra extra small so that's what I fit into just for a bit of clarification just so like if you see me saying like oh small is baggy I'm not like saying that I don't really know but I'm just like small is very baggy on me because i'm usually a two extra a two xs so um yeah and then i've just got this top like pajama top for after as well just because it's easy access still because it's really flowy and um it'd be good to breastfeed in and all that malarkey so i think that's really everything that i'm bringing yeah Apart from the things that I'm going to grab, like 
on the way out so like if my waters do break um what to grab like then and there kind of thing like when we have to get out of the house so what i need to grab is my hospital notes my phone my phone charger earphones power banks because i've got two of these charged up ready to go because um you just never know if you need them two of them my pregnancy pillow which is the little v pillow which is just over here ow just over here and then snacks and water so that's this video now done with so thank you for watching um if you want to see what is in oscar's um oscar's hospital bag which is my little boys um then please do subscribe and click the bell notification so you get notified every time i post a video because i'm not gonna lie i'm so irregular with posting at the moment because everything is up in the air so i'm really sorry about that but hopefully i'll become more into a schedule that's what i'm hoping to because it's annoying me i'm not gonna lie but anyways so thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all again in my next video bye